Hi, my name is Dominic Lewington, uh, Director of Solution Consultancy at Hymetric, a global elite service now partner. Welcome to another edition of Hymetric's Tech Byte series, where we spend eight minutes discussing a value add use case facilitated by the brand new ServiceNow Orlando release. Today, we're going to have a look at um, turning risk into focus resolution, major incident management in Orlando. As ever, let's start by reviewing a summary from the documentation so we can become slightly more affair exactly what major incident management is all about. So a major incident is an incident that results in significant disruption to the business and demands a response beyond the routine incident management process. Major incidents have a separate procedure with shorter timescales and urgency that is required to accelerate resolution processes for incidents with high business impact. This is key here, business impact. A definition of what constitutes a major incident must be determined and agreed upon. For example, a major incident can be created a critical business service is impacted or if there's a service outage that affects a large number of users. So I think a key takeaway here is major incident management actually transcends the IT world and starts looking at business impact. With that in mind, let's jump into a demonstration of the major incident management process in Orlando. Let's have a more detailed look at major incident management on the ServiceNow platform. Let's start with how we can trigger some of these major incidents. What exactly are the criteria that need to be met for a incident, IT or otherwise, to be considered a major incident? Well, we've talked about things like business criticality. We've talked about things like the incident being widespread, disruptive for a large number of users. So let's see how we can articulate those business rules into ServiceNow rules. So I have open in front of us a very traditional view of static rules that can create major incidents. These will be instantly familiar with anyone that spent any time configuring the uh, ServiceNow platform, we'll see that we are using static additions to generate major incidents. And again, execution orders can be used for a catch-all effect with that particular view in mind. So let's have a look at one. Well, very easy to articulate, critical business service being impacted. Let's open up that rule. And we can see a very simple, very familiar ServiceNow condition. If the service business criticality equals one, then we're going to create a major incident on the back of it. So that is probably the simplest example of a major incident trigger um, leveraging the ServiceNow platform uh, based on a field of the underlying IT or, or business incident. A second way of considering major incidents on the ServiceNow platform is by using some of the now intelligence that come with Orlando and the New York releases. Now we'll do a whole tech bite about now intelligence, but suffice to say, we can use the ServiceNow similarity engine to detect uh, to detect similar incidents, similar disruptions, or a different algorithm that might produce a recommendation, as you can see on this screen here, from ServiceNow that we're gonna propose a major incident based on the fact that 10 similar cases have been created for seven different accounts in the last N amount of hours. So ServiceNow, using the inbuilt intelligence of the platform, can actually use a similarity engine to look for all the database tables that are related to major incidents and major cases and actually propose them directly without us having to set any rules and in a machine learning, natural language understanding type way. Last but not least, is the direct leveraging of the service desk agents to actually detect, uh, detect patterns themselves. So here we have um, an agent workspace view of a normal IT incident, and I'm going to use a UI action. So, okay, I have seen a lot of these recently. I want to propose a major incident. There is actually another step within that workflow, which we'll look at here. So directly from this piece, I can see that it is, yes, actually, a, a critical business service has been impacted. I can also see that Yes, it's fairly widespread, so I'm going to propose a major incident. And leave some work notes for the major incident manager who will pick this up. OK, so major incident proposed. So what that actually looks like on the ServiceNow platform is a candidate is produced. Rather than going directly from an incident to a major incident, there is a record, a major incident candidate, which is produced for a major incident manager to review to see whether or not, yes, this needs to be promoted to a major incident. So let me just check on what we've seen earlier. 
So this is all we just produced. And yes, I can see a business, a critical business service is being impacted. Yes, it is fairly widespread. I can read through the work notes. I can take the input from the agent that detected it and some value add from the ServiceNow platform. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to promote this directly to a major incident. And there we go. As simple as that. As an agent, I've detected the pattern. I have produced a major incident candidate. And the major incident manager has logged in and actually reviewed that candidate and decided, yes, this is a major incident and has promoted it as a manual step in our workflow. So three ways of triggering it. Static, condition-based trigger rules. Now intelligence, similarity engine to detect patterns within the system. And manually by um, a service desk agent spotting patterns in their tickets or their group's tickets to propose a major incident candidate. So now we have a major incident. We can actually leverage the major incident management workbench, which allows us to look at this major incident in a rather holistic way, heads up way. Um, we can see very quickly, and this is obviously a configurable screen, the number of impacted services, the number of affected configuration items, related outages, affected locations, and child incidents. So it's very easy for me to get all the information I need as a team to actually run down to resolve this major incident, all in the same place, consolidating several different service now record types into one singular view. We also have the ability from here to actually look at the communication plan for a major incident. Half the battle when you have a major incident is to make sure the business and the end users and the technical teams understand what has occurred, what is the plan for resolving the issue, and what is the communication plans in terms of those tiers we just discussed. So with service and major incident management, you can build out communication plans. So they are pre-populated and automatically created alongside the major incident management records so that you have a strategic way of managing these large outages or issues within your organization without having to reinvent the wheel every time it happens. And we can see here a fairly generic major incident management communication plan, technical conferences, technical status updates, technical resolution communications, internal stakeholder communications. This is pre-built, approved by the business, and this is the way that we are going to resolve this major incident. So that's it, major incident in a nutshell, trigger rules, proposing candidates, promotion to major incidents, and the major incident management workbench. Thank you very much for your time and attention today as we discussed major incident management on the brand new ServiceNow Orando release. Please do reach out to us through our social channels, through myself or directly to your account manager. Whether you have questions on anything we discussed today or any other matter related to the ServiceNow platform or applications. So on that note, it's time to say goodbye, but I will see you on the next episode of High Metrics Tech Bytes.